Oil prices move just like the pump jack that pulls the dark liquid from the ground. But if you're not working in the oil industry, you might have a hard time understanding its cyclical routine, let alone trying to make money off of it. Enter Crude Funders. Crude Funders operates a crowdfunding portal that's focused on the drilling of wells, oil and gas wells. Uh, it's more like a matchmaker in that we find sponsors of projects that deserve to be drilled and we match them up with investors, uh, both accredited and unaccredited. It's the unaccredited part that's different. The difference is the JOBS Act went into effect a few years ago, meaning that potential investors now don't have to meet a minimum income or net worth requirement to invest. This is an opportunity for many of those people who've not had that chance. Crude Funders COO Wayne Benninger says, with prices right now in the 60s, many might not know the right time to invest. Investors love it when prices are high, not realizing how cyclic our industry is, and so there's a lot of ready investors. When prices fall off, we find even better looking projects. When prices are low, they're generally forecast to go up at some point in the future. Um, the sponsors are looking for us, uh, looking to us because they need another source of capital that has dried up otherwise. So we have uh, just a, uh, an abundance of sponsors. The investors, on the other hand, they sit back a little bit because th they, they're a little naive in how they view the industry. So they see oil prices are low, so we don't want to do it now. You know, we don't want to get involved now. But many of them are becoming more savvy. They look at it and say, well, if they're really low now, and look where they were. He says even though there are protections in place and they work under tight SEC regulations, investors need to be vigilant. I am a reservoir engineer and a geologist. I have done everything from roustabout work in the field to the chief operating officer of a public company. The oil industry is what I love. I know it well. I've worked all over the world in it. It's, it's, uh, it's something I'm very proud of. However, I am disgusted by some of the things that I've seen, the scams that I've seen run over 40 plus years in the industry. Uh, and those scams occur everywhere. Benninger first got involved with crude funders on a consulting basis because of his knowledge of the industry. Then he was asked to join the team last year. They did a, a few other things that, were, that indicated the intent was to be as open with the investor as they can be, transparent so that there was no scam involved. There was no, uh, there was no uh, deception involved. That worked for me. The other thing they were interested in doing was that the sponsors a lot of times will have a project that looks pretty good on the surface and, and you're thinking, well, uh, you know, from a financial point of view, this makes some sense except you don't realize how much the sponsor's actually getting. Just another detail you may not know to ask. Trying to stay transparent, Benninger says their target is to make sure three out of every four wells that they drill are successful. They also don't invest in their own wells, and they only make money if the well is profitable. For Real News, I'm Sarah Strackhouse.